This is the Daily Tech News for Monday, May 30th, 2016. I'm Tom Merritt. It is Memorial Day holiday here in the United States, which means uh, that almost everybody who works for us, because they're from the United States, has the day off. So we're just doing a headlines only, as we do a lot of times on these holidays. We will be back with a regular episode tomorrow. Uh, if you like to watch live, it'll be two hours later because we're doing it on Japan time, so Patrick Beja can get some sleep. Uh, but we will be back in action. Big thanks to Justin Robert Young, Steve Kovac, and Roger Chang uh, for filling in on Friday's show. They did a bang-up job, I thought, as, a, as you would expect. So let's get into the headlines. Asus announced loads of new products in advance of Computex in Taipei, but the Zenbo robot is grabbing all the headlines. The $599 robot can connect to home devices like your lights, your TV, your air conditioners, as well as your door locks and camera. So the camera can be above the door. The robot says this is who's there. You tell the robot whether to unlock the door or not. Rolls around on its own, takes voice commands as well as speaking reminders, places video calls, streams video content, shops online for you. Could be dangerous there. They really are marketing this partly as elder care it can send emergency alerts to family members if someone is sensed to have fallen down and can't get up, for instance. There will be an SDK for developers as well. They want people to integrate this into apps. Asus also announced the 11.9 millimeter thick ZenBook 3 with a 12.5 inch screen i7 processor and a terabyte hard drive coming in Q3 in rose gold, royal blue, and quartz gray for $1,999 or $1,499 for a 512 gigabyte drive if you want to step it down a little. The liquid cooled ROG ROG gaming laptop gets an upgrade to the GX800. That's the new model number. It'll have an NVIDIA SLI GPU, Intel K series CPU, and two 330 watt power supplies, which you'll need for overclocking, which you'll want to do if you're going to spend money on that laptop. The ROG ROG. I don't know which one is better to say. Uh, the ROG desktop will get the GeForce GTX 1080 GPU. Uh, there's also the Transformer 3 and 3 Pro. Those are Surface Book-like competitors, uh, the two-in-ones, as they call them. $799 and $999 for those. The top level gets the i7 processor. Uh, they announced several nice-looking phones, the 5.5-inch Zenfone 3, 5.7-inch 3 Deluxe, and the 6.8-inch 3 Ultra. These are cheap phones, too. Uh, not cheaply made, but cheaply priced. $249, $499, and $479 for that 6.8-incher. And Gadget also spotted an Asus VR headset under glass in the demo area, but we don't know what to make of that yet. ARM announced new chip designs. This is also in advance of Computex in Taipei. The Cortex A73 CPU is going to be coming. It claims to be 30% more power efficient than the A72, uh, with 1.3 times the level of peak performance and twice the premium performance within the power budget. That means uh, it can go longer before it has to start ramping down to save your battery life. The Mali G71 GPU is the first to use third-generation architecture Bifrost. That one claims 50% higher graphic performance, 20% percent better power efficiency and 40 percent better performance per square millimeter compared to the previous Mali GPU. ARM claims it can match the GTX 940M, okay, uh, which is often used in laptops, and supports 4K, 120 hertz refresh, and 4 millisecond pipeline latency. So they're trying to make it a VR capable chipset as well, or chip design, GPU design. ARM expects chips based on the designs to move into production by the end of the year. If you don't know this already, ARM designs the chips and then other companies create them. In fact, uh, for instance, Apple uses ARM designs, but they customize them themselves and then put them out under their own names. Reuters reports Iran's Supreme Council of Cyberspace is giving messaging apps one year to move data on Iranian users to servers within Iran. This is part of a growing trend worldwide to have countries want to or require, in this case, data to be kept in country. Administrators of more than 20 groups on Telegram were arrested back in November for spreading immoral content and moving servers within the country could make such enforcements easier. Chetan Sharma Consulting has an interesting report out estimating that 69% of new cellular accounts in the U.S. in Q1 of 2016 came from cars, tablets, and Internet of Things devices. In other words, not phones. In fact, cars alone accounted for 32% of new accounts versus 31% for phones. So more car accounts being activated on uh, on cell connections in Q1 than for phones. The National Toxicology Program released a partial results of a study, uh, and this is grabbing a lot of headlines. Remember, 
partial results of a study with a small sample base that found some increased incidence in cancer in male rats exposed to CDMA cell phone singles, uh, signals. No increased cancer was found in female rats, uh, and no cancer rate increase was detected in any rats exposed to GSM, which is odd because GSM signals emit more radiation than CDMA. Rats exposed to cell phone radiation in the study also lived longer than rats not exposed. Uh, a lot of the critics of this study, uh, scientists that are analyzing this study, say, and when I say critics, I mean people looking at the study and saying we think this is what it means, say that the sample size just might have been too small and you happened to have longer lived rats in the CDMA exposure group, which meant they were just more likely to get cancer because they lived longer. But this all goes into the bank of data that is used to determine this sort of thing. Uh, just want to make sure you have the facts when you evaluate this and don't get sucked in by a headline. India's Commerce and Industry Minister Nirmala Sitharaman told reporters Monday she will discuss Apple's application for a waiver from local sourcing with the finance ministry. If you remember, without a waiver, Apple would be required to sell at least 30% locally sourced items in retail stores. Stores that sell cutting-edge goods, however, may receive an exemption and... Nirmala Sitharaman of the Commerce and Industry uh, Ministry said that she felt Apple should qualify for that. The finance ministry said Apple failed to provide material on record to back up their request. Uh, so that's why Apple is not got a green light for retail stores in India yet, but they still might get it. We'll see. Finally, several organizations are attempting to fill the gap left in Austin, Texas, after Lyft and Uber suspended operations there because of a city law requiring the companies to use the city's fingerprint and background check systems instead of using their own company solutions. Uh, they said that's too burdensome, too expensive, and they have stopped providing rides within the city limits of Austin. However, Ride Austin is being put together. That's a nonprofit set to launch in June. They would devote part of their profits to charity. Uh, Boston-based Fasten also plans to launch in Austin June 1st. And several are already in operation. Phoenix-based Fair has processed 700 drivers through the first stage of this new system. Uh, Arcade City is avoiding the regulations by letting drivers set their own rates, a, a true marketplace uh, for ride offerers. And then Get Me, Z Trip, and Wings are also already operating in Austin. So there are ways to hail a cab without hailing a cab, if you so desire, and you live in Austin, Texas. Hey, thanks to everybody who submitted things we use from our subreddit. Keep it coming, folks. Get in there and at least vote, submit new stories, and vote on them at dailytechnewsshow.reddit.com. Big thanks to everybody who supports this show. Uh, one of the reasons that I always take a little time on holidays to put these headlines out is because you guys support it so well. Dailytechnewsshow.com slash support. If you're willing to give us a dollar or more, you can give us more uh, a month, uh, please do so. Patreon.com slash DTNS is the other URL for the ongoing support. Or just tell us about, tell folks about it. You can give us an iTunes review and that helps us out as well. Uh, it is Memorial Day, and I, I think Gadget Chaser's note about this summed it up best on Thursday. Uh, but again, for all of those who have had a loss, uh, whether it's recent or old, um, our, our thoughts go with them and, and with our own. I, I miss my own family members uh, who served and died as well. Our email address is feedback at dailytechnewsshow.com. You can give us a call, 512-59-DAILY, 593-2459. Catch the show live Monday through Friday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern at alphageekradio.com and diamondclub.tv, except tomorrow when we're actually going to be at 6.30 p.m. Eastern at alphageekradio.com and diamondclub.tv. And visit our website, dailytechnewsshow.com. Back tomorrow at that later time with Patrick Beja. part of the frog pants network get more at frogpants.com diamond club hopes you have enjoyed this program <laughs>